Hello everyone, welcome to Stardew Valley. Now, let me just say right off the bat that I'm going to be heavily editing this series. I'm not just going to show you everything. Maybe for the, for the few, first few days I will. But uh, I'm hoping to make this entertaining, as entertaining as possible. But towards the end of the series there's going to be a lot of filler. Or not filler, but I'm going to try and cut out the, the filler. So we're going to go with this dog, because I like to call him Potato. Because he looks like a potato, especially when you look at him from the side. So name. But what? Well, okay, we're gonna go with Bozeman. Uh, farm name. We're gonna name it Yubberdunkus. Don't ask me why. All right. Um. Favorite thing. We're just going to go with, I like Airsoft, so my favorite models are Lugers and M9s. <laughs> this is going to be weird. Alright, skin color, pale boy. We're going to have to get an angle here. I have long hair, let's see here. Honestly, that seems about right if I put it in a ponytail, but... I don't usually do that. Let's go with the ponytail one. There. I am Fabio now. Alright. Shirt. I usually just wear a t-shirt. Most of this doesn't look like something I would wear. I wear v-necks a lot, so let's go with that. Uh, pants. Oh yeah, uh, I gotta change the color. I usually wear more gray pants, but I don't know if we can change it to gray there we go uh accessories does it have like glasses Ugh, glasses look horrible i might just go without glasses i wear glasses but uh yeah no we're not doing that <laughs> and we're gonna go with the basic farm because it's the one i know best And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay, that was a weird way to pick up an envelope, I'd gotta say. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Now let grab a rest. XX years later. I have a wire in my freaking way on my screen. I have to get this crap out of there. It's like Mario. Some lady's going to Woody that's high on pills. Uh, he's just a black man. He looks pretty tired. This guy is just asleep. He's me. Oh, and that guy's dead. And there's Stacy. She's not even working. Her computer's been broken for years. I have my D drive just out in the open right here. That's kind of weird. Dear Bozeman. <laughs> my, gran my grandpa calls me about my username, you know? <laughs> if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place that I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Yubberdunk is far. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life.
This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If you tell if Lewis is still alive, say hi to that guy. Epic. I got some fucking land, dude. Land's expensive. Holy shit. What was that? Hello, you must be Bozeman. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch fetch you and show you the way the way to your new home. I'm horrible at reading. He's right there now, tidying things up for arrival. The farm's over right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Yubberdunkus Farm. How can you sit up with a straight face? Look at her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's the matter? Looks like Shay a little? With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yo, where's the old man that you were saying? Here you are. Your new home. Why are you in my house? Ah, oh, the new farmer. I'm not gonna remember anyone's voice. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna probably not give anyone special voices. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not very often. It's not every day that someone move, new moves in. It's quite the big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very. Rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Bozeman. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> Who actually says upgrades, though? I want to say renovation. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should probably get some rest. Tomorrow you want to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople sh would really appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in that box there. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. And here we are on our first day. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to change some controls. So auto run, blah 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 blah, blah show hit, tool hit location, that's very useful. Alright, check do action. I think I want to change this to space. Alright, let's go with this. Alright. So we have a gift of parsnip seeds. You receive 15 par parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Uh, we're gonna watch TV, living off the land. For all you greenhorns out there, chop wood and search for the and search for wild forge to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Wow, how helpful and how ironic for the first day. I don't know if ironic is the right word for that. Coincidental. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, and the fortune teller doesn't really matter, but the spirits are annoyed today, probably because I showed up. All right. So we're gonna scythe out these little crops here, not crops, but uh, weeds, fibers actually, yeah that's what they're called. We're gonna scythe out these fibers out of the way, and then we're gonna get the grass out of the way as well, at least in this area. You wanna keep a little grass around, because 
You're gonna need it eventually, but right now in that spot, that's our farming area. Um, alright. So let's reorganize our inventory a little bit here. We're gonna have this here, this here, bam, 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 bam. Alright, clear out the- we're gonna clear out this area. And already we have a good little area cleared out, so we're gonna start right about here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. I suppose we don't need to count the bottom one, we just need to do it. eyeball it. Alright, so we have 15 seeds, but I placed down 20 things. That's because we're gonna go buy more seeds. We're gonna go buy uh, more parsnip seeds so that we get a quick harvest right off the bat. Um, and for now, we're gonna water all of these while we're waiting because the store doesn't open till 9 o'clock. And you can water the soil before you plant the seeds, which is kind of strange, but it works, so I'm not gonna argue. So one of the things that you'll probably notice is that very quickly our inventory is filling up. So the first thing that- one of the first priorities that we need to do is get 50 wood to craft a chest. But, one of our other priorities is that we need to go over to the shop. Wants us to look over here, there's a calendar, and then there's a little help wanted poster. Uh, let's talk to this man. Hello! Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Cool. Hello! Hey, if it isn't Mr. Bozeman, <laughs> the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. I couldn't tell. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also pr t buy produce from you for a good price. Alright, so we're gonna buy... We're gonna spend all of our money on parsnips. I see a little lady over here. Hey, come back here! <laughs> I'm just running into their home. Come back here, you fucker! <laughs> oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, we can explore them if you want. Alright. Uh, hello. Hello, you must be Bozeman, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store. And you ha and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one in the purple hair. Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. She's right behind me. <laughs> Alright, a shrine to a weird god, uh, something over here, probably shouldn't call her god weird, ah, a new face. Ah, Mayor Lewis, Mar Mayor Lewis told you, told me that you arrived, I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, we met some people, uh, I'm gonna try and meet everyone as soon as possible. But, uh, first things first is that we got our own business to take care of before we worry about any of that. So here we are back at the farm. We have five extra seeds, and then we have 20 more. So we're gonna have to do two more whole rows of this. Of this farming land. To be honest, I'm just gonna save space. Usually I do them, uh, separate, but I'm just gonna- I'm gonna get wild with it, and I'm just gonna do it like this. Now one benefit to actually tilling the land like this is that you actually have a chance to find clay when you till the land, which clay can be a useful material that... Uh, it used to be somewhat rare, but I think they made it more common. There's a lot to this game that I don't know now, because there's been a lot of updates since I last time I played. Well, I played a lot recently, but there's a lot of new things that I don't quite understand and know. So, you get about 40 waters out of your level 1 uh, watering can. But we filled our can with our little pool down there. You can fill your can at pretty much anything that has water in it. And uh, it looks like we're not going to quite get to our objective amount of wood today. Which is quite unfortunate if I'm going to be real. It is very unfortunate. Um, we need 50 wood 
just to be able to have space to do anything. Alright, we're not going to risk hitting it again, and we did not get 50 wood. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to actually get it. But in the meantime, we're going to make use of this day, and we're going to meet some people. Or we could just wait. You know what, let's just wait. I got, I got three years to do this. Or at least I think it's three years. I think the game somewhat ends in three years before it becomes New Game Plus, pretty much. Let's just go to bed. It's very early to go to bed, but... Uh, it takes forever to get through days if you make use of every one of your day- of, of all of your time and every day. So... To get through some of the days, I might just end up sleeping in early. Because... I got a lot of time to spend. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, <laughs> Willy. Ah, uh, might have to pass on that one. <laughs> I don't want to know. You can't just say I got something for you and have the name Willy. Ex certain expectations get, get pulled. You know, first impression. They say first impressions are everything. <laughs> Alright, so we've watered all of our crops, so we're going to fill up our watering tank, and then we're going to try and chop down more trees. We also have some quests here. We have to go to the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Okay. Then we have getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip, which we are currently doing 40 of. Introductions. It would be an, a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. 7 out of 28 people greeted. So, we'll eventually get all of that done. And we will probably end up gaining many more quests as time goes on. But for now, we are focusing on our personal objectives. And that is to, one, clear out the area, and two, collect the uh, uh, resources from the clearing. So, we have 72 wood. Let us craft a chest. Bam. All right. So, here's our first chest, and we're going to slap everything that we don't want currently in here. So we don't need all of these. Yes. We do need the hoe, however. Let's bring the scythe just in case, since we don't have a sword yet. So, you want to explore around, because you'll find things like this, which you can pick up. These are forgeables. So, we have a daffodil and a dandelion. These are very important because, uh, first of all, flowers are very nice to the ladies. So if you want to get with a lady, most of them like flowers. Uh, I don't usually go for guys, so a lot of them are hard to please, gonna be real with you. Because a lot of them are the youngsters that don't understand the value of flowers, mayo, and berries. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense now if you don't know what I'm talking about, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, we're going to the beach. There's this man token on a freaking weed pipe or something, holy shit. Ahoy there! Heard there was a newcomer in town, good to find a meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month on the salty seas. It was a big haul, so a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that we that the art of art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from me from the shop once in a while. You received a bamboo pole. Whoa, the reverb on that was wild. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now. 
So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. Alright, so he magically disappears, and we here we are with a fishing rod. So, we are not going to go fishing, unfortunately, not right now. Um, first things first that I want to do is I want to look at this, right here. Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. So, this is one of our first objectives to get that fixed, because it can be a very valuable source of money to get that built at the very beginning. Ha! A child! Talk to me! You're new! Oh, it's Stranger! My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but... You seem okay. Yeah, do you say that to every stranger? Eventually one of those strangers are not gonna be okay, okay? Okay. Another child! Hi! Talk to me again. Nope, she won't. She refuses. Now another thing you can do is rummage the trash. Bam! A lot of times you won't find anything, but sometimes you'll find some good stuff, like a whole ass field snack. Ooh, new lady, hello. Hey, come back here. Come back here! Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Epic. Oh, I can read your face! You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Oh, I'll, I'll visit the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's gonna get a little weird around here if you can't tell. Uh. Hello? You're not good enough friends with Haley to enter her bedroom. Yeah, but could she exit or kind of like knock on the door? That'd be great. You know, that's one thing that they should really add, is knocking on the door, because there's a lot of times where people are trapped in their rooms, well, quote-unquote trapped, but you can't get to them, but you need to do something to, you need to, like, give them something, or talk to them, but they just are in their rooms. Alright, so, we're gonna go back to our farm, and we're gonna chop down even more trees. We're gonna try and clear out the area below to try and make way for more farming once we need it. And we're just gonna chop the trees and then we are going to probably go to bed once our energy depletes. Ooh, there's actually some worms right there. I didn't, uh, I just noticed. Right here. So these, this is why we brought the hoe, is because we could see some worms. It's more frequently around town. But we got some right here on our land, so we just smacked that. And it was like one of the worst drops that a worm could have, that the worms could have given you. Um, and we're running out of energy, but we're gonna eat this field snack, because we're most likely not gonna eat it later. Um, and we're gonna use it to cut down a couple more trees before we go to bed. But yeah, those worms can drop some pretty cool stuff, so it is worth it to hit the worms, even if they sometimes just drop a single freaking stone. That was a little ridiculous of a drop. That was kind of useless. All right, I risked it. We're at zero energy, but we're not. So if you, if you hit, if we do anything now, we will be exhausted. First, inventory management. Let's just slap everything in here. Slap the fishing rod in there. We don't need it right now. And we're gonna bring this back over here. And with our zero energy, we will not go to sleep into our third day. We leveled up once in foraging. We can now craft a field snack and also wild seeds. Specifically spring wild seeds. Alright, so it's raining. It's gonna be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. And the fortune teller? Spirits are very happy today. Well, that doesn't apply to us, really. Let's go ahead and check the mail. Advertisement. Better throw it away. <laughs> I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out your affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. 
Uh, affordable is a little bit of an overstatement because it is $2,000. Uh, understatement, I would, I should probably say, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, he wants 2,000 freaking coins. The way that I see it is that these things are roughly like yen, where a hundred yen is roughly a, a dollar. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes what this money is going to, what this money should equate to. Trying to make game logic work sometimes is, just doesn't work out a lot of the time. There's some worms over there. I see them right over here. I'm going to go grab those. See what they are. It is clay. Okay. Once again, not one of the cooler things, but it is one of the more useful things that, sli that slime, uh, that, what are they called, uh, worms can drop. For some reason I'm thinking like Slime Rancher right now or something. I don't know. Spooky noises in the rain. I probably shouldn't be worrying about chopping down the trees up here yet. But, uh, here I am. Now, there are little tiny saplings that I am kind of destroying with, uh, with my scythe when I chop through them, but there are plenty of saplings to go around currently, so I'm not too concerned about breaking the small ones, especially if they're going to be in the way later. Now, the main reason that rain days are good is because they water your crops. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if it's a glitch or not. I'm guessing it's not a glitch because it's survived multiple updates, but there is a possibility that during the rain that they will not water one of your crops, or at least they will not progress in their uh, life cycle. Uh, how much wood? 282 for now. Uh, we're almost there. And no one's going to be out because it's raining, so we're just going to go to bed. Quickly, we've progressed to our fourth day. Okay, we've watered our crops and refilled our watering can. So now we are going to continue the grind of chopping down trees so that we can get that 300 wood. Alright, so we've run low on energy and I've, uh, I've gotten... We're doing a good job at clearing out trees. But, uh, for now, we're gonna have to be done. I did go a little overboard, but that's okay, because we have enough for a second chest. And then, we also have enough for a... for the bridge. Found a daffodil. So, typically, it's a very good idea to be checking the beach every day for forageables. Um, you don't want to check this garbage can when the mayor's here, because he'll see you see even though he's around the house um, there is a technical stealth system because of uh, rummaging through the trash Ooh, more things we have enough energy for this it's more clay they're really not giving us anything interesting yet are they all right we found a mussel on the beach we also found a clam Ooh, another thing BAM it's more clay we found another second clam and we're gonna build this And this is the reason why it's good to come over here is because there's even more stuff. We got a sea urchin, we got coral, coral, even more coral. And then there's more coral right there. So that's a lot of stuff right off the bat. Now, I'm going to hold on to six of every item in the game because um, it's good to have a backlog of stuff just in case someone wants it for a help wanted board or something of the sort. So these, unfortunately, are not getting sold yet. Um, so we're going to have to wait on making the money, but that's okay. Uh, normally, I I started off... Oh, Haley. Oh, you're the new farmer boy, right? Aren't you? Or are you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. If, you weren't, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Wow, okay, thanks. Thanks, bitch. Uh, would you like a daffodil? Ugh, that's such a stupid gift. Okay, I'll just kill myself with my dandelion, okay? Alright, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I shouldn't even have given her that because I need, you know, six of those. I used to hold on to 20 of every item. Now, I then in my last playthrough, I held on to 10, and now I'm moving it down to 6, just for the sake of the viewers. Because 
10 might be a little much. But, um, yeah. Certain items are very good for selling, such as these, um, in the early game, the all of these uh, forageables from the beach are very good. Pretty much all forageables are good to sell in the very beginning. I'm debating whether or not I should go and talk to people. Let's go and try and find people. So, if you don't know who you talk to yet, uh, you can see the people that you've talked to in your heart menu, your social menu. And, yeah, so these are all the people we have to try and find. We have about half the list done. So let's go and see about what we can, who we can find and what we can do. Let's go and try and find the doctor because the doctor is one of the hardest people to find, typically. Who's the mayor? We already know him. That is not the doctor. The doctor's back here. Oh, we actually come, come in here. What's up, my n-word? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. If you need to get through someone, just keep holding the button. You'll press through eventually. Oh, aren't you the, the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. You got anything more to say? I perform regular checkups on medical procedures for all the residents of Pedicle. Panic. He has a stutter. Don't worry. Pelican Town. It's a rewarding work. What is Haley doing? Or not Haley. Uh, uh, Abigail doing? Why, hello. <laughs> Welcome to our little town. You're to my community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Evelyn. Little adorable little lady. And we got this guy. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet people, all, all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! <laughs> what if I annoy him? Okay, I can't. Uh, anyone in the trailer house? There is, as a matter of fact. Hello. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. That's it. She doesn't say anything more. Okay, that's... A little strange, I'm not gonna lie. You, I think she's supposed to be one of the more sociable ones. Alright, so who have we met yet? We have, uh, Anime. Chad. Blacksmith. Fabio. Obo. Blackman. Uh, Blackman in a different way. Swoop, Absolute Wizard, another Chad, and uh, Poofy Hair. I do know all these people's actual names, but uh, I'm just gonna not spoil it. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam's pretty cool. Shit, I for immediately forgot that I shouldn't do it. How did you? S <laughs> I made the kid cry because I dug through his trash. I'm not making a very good presentation. It's a good thing I don't have any hearts with these guys already, because otherwise I would have lost them immediately. <laughs> wow. Oof. Not going well. Let's try and get into the blacksmith's place, because the blacksmith's right over here. He was just about to close, too. Uh, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you could, if you ever need any uh, to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. Uh, there is a man in here, but you don't have to meet him, which is weird. Probably because you never see him walking around town. He just kind of is always behind the counter in that area. Now, who else is left? We have to meet this guy. I don't know where he would be. I think I know where one of the guys would be, and that is over here. If I go up a little more, yes, the bridge, you will find Jojamart. Join us, thrive. If you don't, if you didn't notice, Joja is the uh, place that I uh, that I was working at before. You also find Poofy Hair here. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk, you will get a log fine. Uh, we have this fucking 
I don't even know how to describe this man. Welcome to Jojamart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I am Morse Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide to become when you decide to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition to the Joyce experience. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? When you're currently in the process of setting up a brand new membership system for our customers, please check back in to join soon. I don't even know who this lady is. Oh, you can buy stuff here. Whoa, these seeds are actually very cheap. Get discounts on them. Huh. Strange. You can also get Jojo wallpaper. And then here's another dude that we need to talk to. Uh, he's actually one of the guys. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem to be interested in talking. Do I still... Does it count as meeting him, though? Did it? Did it? It it did. Okay, so that's Shane. He is a drunk, and he is not pleased to meet you. Especially that he's working. He's just like, fuck off. So, who's left? We have Fabio, Hobo, Blackman, Blackman. Alright. So, for most of these people, we need to go up to the north side of town. Uh, we have a dandelion here. Daffodil. Sorry. And then we're gonna find another one. We're gonna check over here, because sometimes people hang out over to this area. Unfortunately, no one is today. It is getting a little later in the day, so it's possible that we're not gonna find any more people. But, there still is more forgeables. Ooh! Ah, black one! Hello! Greetings! I am Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I am studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my stepdaughter? My, my, have you met my daughter? She's not a stepdaughter. Maru, she's interested to meet you. Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. And then there is should be one other guy, but I don't know if he's out of his room. He is not. He's sitting there on a dual PC setup, whenever this is, which is obviously not modern day because uh, the PCs are from the frickin' 90s or something. So these are wild horseradishes. We found two of them over here. Uh, if we go up over here, it is blocked by a landslide. Ooh, hubbo. Hello. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Now if you could please go away. <laughs> That's basically what it was because he wouldn't let me talk to him anymore. Alright, so who do we have left? We've met pretty much everyone, haven't we? Yeah, we have technically four people because this guy will come up later. So we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, these are four. These four people. Actually, no. These three people are hard to meet. This guy I just happen to not see. These three people can be kind of hard. This guy in particular. You just have to catch him while he's out. He rarely comes out of his room, just like me. Actually, I come out of my room a lot more now. I have, to, I have to be more productive. Anyway, so we've done all that we can for today. So that's going to be the end of uh, this day. We're going to shove uh, everything in, a, in here and we're going to say a good night. Well, that's a survival burger.